to cook like a tween. Today we're going to be cooking the perfect chocolate chip cookie recipe in my opinion. So what you're gonna need is you're going to need a half a cup of butter or just one normal stick of butter. You're going to need one, a half a cup of sugar, white sugar, and then a half a cup of brown sugar. You are going to need one egg. You're going to need one teaspoon of vanilla, which actually is a good hack because the cap is actually exactly one teaspoon. You're going to need one, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of hot water. You're also going to need one and a half cups of flour. And you're going to need one cup of chocolate chips or chocolate chunks. You're also going to need for tools, a scooper, a hand mixer, or a mixer with a whisk attachment, a large bowl, and last but not least, a baking sheet that is either lined with parchment paper or greased. And today I'm gonna to be using a recipe from allrecipes.com that I will link in the description down below. Start off, you're gonna to wanna to take your large bowl Mix together, cream together, your butter and your sugar. So I normally stop creaming my butter and sugar when it gets to this state because it kind of goes everywhere. If you're using a mixture, you can cream it all together. But how I like to solve this problem is I like to go ahead and add in my egg. And by the way, this is just half the recipe. I'll link that down in the description below the full recipe. And your vanilla. Then you're just gonna wanna go ahead and cream this all up together. The next thing you wanna do after you've creamed this all together is you're gonna wanna take your baking soda and your hot water and you're gonna to wanna to dissolve the baking soda into the hot water. So after you've dissolved it, you can just dump that in there and you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and cream this all together. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna go ahead and add your dry ingredients. So that's your salt and your flour. And you're just gonna go on ahead and cream this up until it forms into a dough or as much as a dough you can get it. If you're using a stand mixer, this might turn out more of a dough, but mine kind of turns out more crumbly, but this is all already into a dough. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go ahead and add your chocolate chips. You can also just add these to your mixer, but I find that if you're using a hand mixer, you might just wanna get in there with your fingers and make sure you wash your hands and just get in there and mix up the dough. You can see my dough is a dough. You know. You're gonna to wanna to take your scooper, or you can also just use spoons. This just makes it a little bit more even. But you just wanna take an even scoop out of it. You can kind of press against the side of the bowl and just scoop up, and then just put it onto the cookie sheet. Just like that. And then you're gonna to wanna to space them, so then they are two on each row. So on an average baking sheet, they'd be two per row. So now you have six. This is, these are about two inches apart. You can also use a smaller one. And they're kind of just, you want to envision that they're probably gonna grow about a third to a half of their size when they're in the oven. So because they're only gonna do that, I like to do it too where it's in the middle so then you have plenty of room so then they don't bleed in the other cookies. So now after you've done that, then you're gonna pop these in the 350 degree oven for exactly 10 minutes or until the edges become golden brown. Okay guys, so here are the final cookies. And your last step is to just put them on a cooling rack. So I just have one like this. You want them to be a little bit smaller grooves. And you're just gonna want to take a spatula after they come out. 
and you pretty much want to immediately put them on the cooling rack so then the bottoms of the cookies don't get too crispy. The rest, these are all the cookies put out on the cooling rack and this is just so then they cool faster because the pan would keep them baking longer. But if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below. Don't forget to venture off to beyond. Bye guys.